What began as a happy day out with her boyfriend will follow Leah Washington in every step for the rest of her life. It's nice to be back in the home. Nice to do normal things. Well, normal-ish things. It's still not sunk in what's actually happened. Ten weeks ago, her future was changed forever when she boarded a roller coaster at Alton Towers. It was a crash which cost her her leg and very nearly her life. I remember seeing Cart and thinking, oh God, we're going to bump into it. Like, you know, like a bumper car. I just thought it'd bump and then we'd like bounce apart. I didn't expect it to cave in like it did. She and her boyfriend, Joe Pugh, were on their first big day out together. The next four hours were a shared ordeal. I saw Joe and his injuries and then I realised how bad it were. I could just sit bars into my legs and then I can remember like my leg, my feet, I couldn't feel my feet. I started trying to wiggle my toes and I couldn't. When rescuers arrived they found Leah's leg crushed and bleeding heavily. Medics gave her battlefield medicine and transfusions at the scene. She lost a quarter of her blood and nearly died on two occasions as firefighters struggled to free her from the ride. As blood were coming in at me, it were coming out of me. That's how bad it were. Were you fearful about your life? I mean, were you scared? Yeah. Yeah. It were an odd time. When, you, when you're listening to doctors saying that I need all this medication, I knew it were bad. Leah's amputation, soon after being airlifted to hospital, saved her life. A surgeon came and told me what had happened and I was just crying and telling him not to tell me. Can you remember the first time you, I suppose, dared to look and, and see what damage had been done? It took a while. I just knew, like, how long it were and it were hard to look at your leg and it not all been there. Since then, Leah has begun the long road to walking again. She's already been measured for a prosthetic leg, but she still gets phantom pain and has difficulty sleeping. I can feel my foot sometimes and it's like a burning sensation, like electric shock, a stabbing pain. It's like a sensation that you've never felt before. It's, it's really weird. But above all, she misses her independence. Her 18th birthday party was particularly frustrating. And all my friends came and it was a bit of normality, but still, I couldn't go up and get food, I couldn't get a drink. I just had to sit in a seat all night. She says she doesn't feel angry towards Alton Towers, who've promised her compensation. She's had to put on hold her dream of becoming a primary school teacher, but she's trying not to dwell on the past or the future. If I had, would just sat around the house all day, I think I'd think about it too much, think about accident and think about life ahead and I don't want to do all that yet, I'm not ready. Leah's mum and dad will soon move with her into a bungalow to help that recovery. For now, the everyday is challenging enough. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Barnsley.